Hey guys, welcome to Excel Tutorial Channel again, and another episode of Round Function and Formulas in Excel. So we are moving towards the end of Round Function and Formulas in Excel. We have only two or three topics to left to cover. So in this video, we are going to talk about a little subject which is called the even and odd in Excel. So you can use even and odd function as the name suggests to round a numbers also to either even or odd. You can also use the logical function which is is even or is odd to determine if a number is even or odd so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do it because we are covering each and every functionality of excel in this channel so we have covered so much in the past and we will cover each and every in the future itself so without further ado let's get started so here we have a very basic demo sheet and if you want to practice it with us you can find the link the first link in the description which will redirect to our website and from there you can download the link of excel file under our video player so here we have a coordinates and we want to convert that coordinates here which is in the decimal form to even odd and we will determine if it, those numbers are either even or odd we will also cover a little graphical representation of this using conditional formatting also so in the first part of this video let's calculate or convert or you can say round these number down to even number okay or you can say a nearest even integer just apply a even function if you mouse over it says the round the positive number up and negative number down so you must be knowing by now if you have covered the last few chapters we have covered the round functions in excel so there are many functions which rounds up the number and many functions which round down the number right and here even rounds a positive number up and a negative number down okay so if we also have a negative number if you see here we also have a two negative numbers here and if i want to apply a even function in it that negative number will be round down to the nearest integer right so let's just select this number so there you go you will get your answer which is 44 and because the nearest integer as we calculate with the other function is 43 right but the even in integer will be the 44 and if we apply to all there we go so here as you can see it round down the negative number here and here you can also see the positive numbers which was round up so hope you understand how this even function works and the same way we are moving forward to the odd function which itself derived from the odd name and here it says the rounds a num positive number up and negative number down which is also the same as the even function so both work the same way and if you open a function then we get only one argument which is number itself so we just select the number and hit, there you go you will find the nearest integer or you can say the odd integer using this particular function so we have the number 42.081 so it rounds up the number to the nearest odd integer so if you apply to all as you can see so it round down the number and rounds up the positive so that's how you can use the even and odd function it's very straightforward i don't think it needs any deep explanation for this and similarly here we have a two function which is is even and is odd so is even as name says it just determine if this number or this number is even or not so it will give us boolean value boolean value is either true or false so let's see or apply is even so it says it return true if the number is even and return false it isn't so let's just open the uh, function and here we have only one argument and when we select it close it down there you got the true and apply to all so it's very straightforward i don't need to explain anything so here we have a false value to the odd value and true value to the true because it's a, is even and similarly and the last function i will just give it up to you just stop this video right now and calculate this by yourself downloading this particular sheet such that you will grasp the knowledge if you have understand or not so pause this video and apply this particular formula and we will obviously calculate it in upcoming few seconds so pause the video 
so i hope you have done it so is order also very straight forward and if your mouse over it it says that it returns true if the number is odd so we are playing with the even and odd here just open this function and the number are very straight forward there you go false and if we apply to all so the odd value gets true and even value gets false and this is also one thing i want to mention like if you want to represent your number as like if you want to only highlight the even numbers in your worksheet or a column then you can use the conditional formatting without this applying this boring values of true or false right and who wants a true or false when you can graphically represent your data i hope you're getting my point and you can use the conditional formatting for that and if you haven't watched the conditional formatting video you should find the link in the description box because we are that's where we have dive deep into that conditional formatting and with various real life examples so keeping that aside let's get back to this video so i just want to graphically represent our positive value into the green color so what i have to do is just select your cell from a2 to a16 which is mine so go to the home where you are right now right and go to the conditional formatting option here which is under the styles so here we need to mention a new rule because we need to apply a is even function here and if you see the selector rule type there's a many rules and we if we just browse down to the last option it says a user formula to determine which cell to format because we need to enter only the is even function to these values to determine if these are is either true either even or not so it says the format values where this formula is true so if the values are true it will be formatted as per your formatting rules so first let's see what format will apply here so here we have a color which we can choose any so we have decided the green so let's just save the green here so now in the formula section we will just apply is a1 open this formula just type a2 because that's the starting point of a selected worksheet so don't care about selecting each and every uh, or you can say cells here because we have selected just before selecting this condition formatting option so it will just automatically apply to our cells so there you go so you will get your cells highlighted of all your even numbers here so you don't get any you know boring classification of is even or is odd in your worksheet so hope you understand how you can graphically represent your data just like this using conditional formatting so that was the bonus tip in this video so if you have learned something from this video you have a thumbs up button there right you should click that because that will help us to post more and more videos and if you want to subscribe to the channel then please click the subscribe button and if you want to share this to your friend or any dude or any your friend then please click the share button so see you in the next video until then bye bye